Hey, this is Phil. It's your Friday video update. So a big, big week for the Fed this week. Uh, if you probably are paying attention to the news, you heard that the Fed raised the federal funds rate uh, 25 basis points again this week. And of course, I started getting phone calls from customers panicking about interest rates and wanting to lock in because they heard the Fed raise the rates a uh, quarter of a point. And as I've said in the past, but it bears uh, saying again, typically when the Fed raises rates, it helps mortgage interest rates because it's the Fed fighting inflation and inflation is what raises interest rates. So uh, since the Fed announcement, we've actually seen the uh, bond market improve by 22 basis points. Now that's not a lot, but it's certainly not negative. And uh, looking at the charts, I kind of feel like, you know, we're still kind of here in a very narrow trading range with not a lot of uh, movement in either direction right now. So certainly not a time to panic. And there's still, um, you know, steady rates ahead for the near future, I think. And just a reminder again, we have some of the best arm rates in the country right now. And I've got a lot of customers that are seeing the value of locking into an adjustable rate mortgage, especially the 10 year arm that we have that's so, so well priced and offers a significant savings to a 30 year fixed. So uh, I've got some more information that I can share with clients on that to show the benefits, especially if they make the 30 year fixed payment on the 10 year arm, how much more equity they will in, uh, increase over the 10 year period. So please feel free to direct anybody to me that would like to hear more about that. Um, other than that, look, this weekend's Father's Day. So I hope uh, uh, those of you who are husbands that are fathers, uh, make sure you say thanks and uh, share a good day with them and make sure everybody that you call your dad and say thank you. So have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you next week.